This is one of those passages. Let's just say this. Can we not all agree this is the high point of this passage today? The rest of it is pretty ugly. You've got this demonic beast that's filled with Satan doing terrible things to God's people. And then later on, you have he has a henchman that's also very powerful and very charismatic, drawing people to worship him. If you're looking for any hope in this passage, the way it's kind of broken up, this is it. But wait, there, there's a group of people, and God has a record of those people, and those people are his people, and those people are safe people. Those are God's people right there. And, and I would say, be God's people. Know that you are one of God's people. The main things are the plain things, and the plain things are the main things. If you're reading this passage, you're going, I don't want to be on the bad guy's side. I want to be on the good guy's side. I don't want to be influenced by demons, by Satan, by anybody he raises up, by any world system that's anti-God or, or anti-Christ. I want to be on God's side. I want, to be, I want my name written in the Lamb's book of life. I want God to have a record of me. And so 